it's time to wake up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Wake Up SU, and thank you for joining us. We have a lot for you today, so let's jump right in. First, we have Taylor Rogers on set to talk to us a little bit about Salisbury Parking. Thank you for joining us, Taylor. Thank you for having me, guys. So tell us a little about what's going on with the parking situation. Well, a lot of people are confused about this because of the parking in College Square Plaza. A lot of students have been using this parking as, uh, honestly, it's just cheaper than buying an actual permit. Mm -hmm. And so people have been parking there, but now with Planet Fitness now moving in there, it's starting, I think they open as of uh, November 11th. Um, people are notified that they can't use this and their vehicles will be towed for whoever uh, uses it. So basically, kids are forced to buy parking permits if they expect to find a Pretty spot? Pretty much. I mean, university police sent out an email about uh, people won't be able to park on side streets. They're l literally uh, uh, limiting people's uh, parking availability, mm. um, which, I mean, is a good thing because Salisbury University will be able to get some revenue for this. But then again, college students who, you know, are a little... Yeah, we live in a struggle. Yeah, <laughs> college students we who are... We can't no parking pass. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I feel. It's like, you know... Salisbury is already getting money from us. Mm -hmm. Being on campus, we're yeah. paying for school. And for some students, we're it's hard. You know, they can't really afford this. You know, it really. And a lot of people live off well. campus, and they're, you know, kind of farther away. Mm -hmm. So, they look for different places where they can park off campus. That's right. not going to be a problem. Right. So let's talk about like where are the free spots left. <laughs> in the area, where can, if any. Where can uh, students divert this That's issue? a really good question. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if there is any free well, spots Well, I know like left. the side um, streets of West College okay. and the side streets of Dogwood by the church area, mm -hmm. okay. but not in the church parking okay. lot. But mm -hmm. those are normally like right. filled up as of like 8.30 in the morning. Those yeah. are filled up, so good luck getting a parking spot there. I mean, that's going to be really hard. Yeah. E East Campus Athletic Fields. I don't think okay. they, like the side streets by... Okay. Mm -hmm. on the only thing street. about that is um, you, like... Taylor was just saying you have to get there really early if you want to get a spot like mm. that because they are they you don't have to have a parking permit but right. people know that so yeah, they're, they're going to be there to get their spots when they can and that's a problem I mean I think it's a real issue the real issue is like why is there a split between the red permits and mm. the regular permits and why I think that they should all have one unified permit and People should be able to park wherever they can if it's they can get a spot. Revenue. You're exactly. absolutely right. They should exactly. do that, and uh, hopefully they'll be figuring something out. I know mm -hmm. the tennis courts are going to be uh, configuring into parking lots down the road, but I mean that's another problem that they're going to have to deal and with. Parking has always been a problem here. Yeah, unfortunately, students have resulted to like park in residence that they're not driveways. supposed to. Yeah, literally. Exactly. Yeah. And funny story, this happened to one of my friend's house. Mm -hmm. He lives on um, Emory Street. Mm -hmm. And one day he just woke up and there was a random mm -hmm. blue car parked in his driveway <laughs> with a Salisbury sticker. So it obviously it was a student. Mm -hmm. And it was gone by 4 o'clock that, that evening. Mm -hmm. But And that's a problem. Yeah. But that's what people have to do because don't you don't want to That's what businesses <laughs> are taking care of. Now they're going to just tow everybody's vehicle, right. which and is And the school is just getting bigger and bigger and that's another thing so you well know. one solution to this is if you're environmentally friendly <laughs> you can ride your bike i walk <laughs> yes i walk a lot i walk everywhere walk, walking's good yes. for exercise yes. yes you don't need a car it's bad for the environment exactly i mean and when everything is like so central like it is right honestly some people do live a good amount away but for the people who do live close enough, walk if you can, ride a bike if you can, skateboard. Right. I Cheaper, love that. It's healthier for you, so why <laughs> exactly. not do it? Right? Exactly. Students are just lazy. That's the issue. That, yes, you're absolutely <laughs> right. All right. Well, thank you, Taylor. No thank problem. you. Thank you, guys. And this past weekend, over 600 students gathered in Red Square for SGA's annual I Love Salisbury event. Students volunteered their precious Saturday morning to help out in the nearby community. It allowed the student body to give back to the city of Salisbury by helping out local parks, churches, and businesses. And I know that you went to I Love Salisbury. I did. I went to I Love Salisbury. It was Salisbury. so much fun. I'm doing it again and again. Yeah. Like, it's, what did, what did it's you fun. do? Did I you actually got posted. Um, I was with the environmental club, and we went to the zoo. Okay. I was on wheelbarrow duty, so it was pretty serious. It yeah. was very serious, yes. Well, I had a rake. Oh, you got to rake. See, yeah. um, it was 
it's fun. It is. Where Wait, where were you? Well, I I volunteered at Blind Industries, mm -hmm. and they sent us to a place where there weren't very many leaves, but we we raked as many as we could up and had a little fun time where we jumped in leaf piles. But. We did at at the end, and that was like the most beautiful moment. Like right. after we were done all the raking, all the wheel bearing, we jumped into the pile of leaves. It was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that's what's, I love that. Like, that's what's great about volunteering. You just, you get together with a group of people for a cause and have a good time. It it's fun. fun. Yes, yes. Also last week, the Garden Club hosted their annual hot pepper eating contest. And Jesse here not only participated, but was one of the winners. Hot pepper eating contest. Tell me about that. Unfortunately, <laughs> I signed up to do it. And I did it last year, and I should have learned. <laughs> I should have known better. But, but you won. But I won, and I wish that I could say, well, I, I guess it was worth it. Yeah. Because I won three free Chipotle burritos. So, hey, I, hey. I mean, I think that's kind of worth it. Yes. But, I, man, that day I was in some <laughs> serious pain. I was in fetal position. I can only imagine. A solid three hours. What did they have you eat? Oh, my gosh. It was ridiculous. We had... The jalapeno, the purple flash pepper, oh gosh, the fish pepper, oh no. Salisbury hybrid, which we have no <laughs> idea what that is. Is um, that? Are these grown on campus? These are grown on campus. Okay. Yeah. Um, but these are homegrown in the um the garden clubs. Yeah. Um, no, I've seen garden. it. Yeah. Yeah, and um. We had the hottest pepper in the world called the Trinidad Scorpion. I mean, could you pick that a more scary. intimidating name? That sounds scary. It sounds scary. No. Yeah. But by that, by that round, it was already like round <laughs> 10 or 11, and I completely lost my taste buds, so I couldn't even tell if it was the hottest pepper in the world, honestly, because <laughs> I was crouching down, sitting, staring at my cup of milk that I couldn't drink in front oh, of Oh, God. Me. Um, so it was... When was this? Ah, uh, this was... Um, Wednesday of last week mm. yeah um, but man my face <laughs> I and the worst part was I was reporting for SUTV and the before and after was awful uh, like I barely could finish my report it was that bad see I wish that we had a before and after picture so oh, that we could goodness. see that it was crazy <laughs> I but, can only imagine you know at least I got my Chipotle <laughs> and you can always say that you won that contest. And I can always say that I've ate the hottest pepper exactly. on the planet. Not many people can say Not that. Not many people can. <laughs> no. Moving on, we have Nayara Tolliver on set once again to talk a little bit about SU Sports. Hi, Nayara. Thank you for Hello. joining us. What Hi do you guys. have for us? Well, everyone played this weekend, um, but there were a couple upsets. Uh, football lost this weekend to mm -hmm. the college. Uh, 23-24 in overtime, so they didn't get to defend their Empire 8 title like they've done for like the past two years in a row, so oh, it's pretty depressing, <laughs> but they have a chance, you know, they close out the regular, regular season this week, when this Saturday when they host Frostburg, uh, and they've won the uh, 15th Annual Region Cup for the past couple of years now, so that's going to be a pretty good game. Frostburg and Salisbury is always a good game that's to look forward to. Uh, men's soccer was lost in the CAC championship game, uh, one to nothing to York College. It was a pretty, pretty, pretty tough game, and it, of course, it snapped you know the goals, their 12-game winning streak that they had going on. But mm -hmm. they're That's waiting. The worst. Yeah, they're waiting to hear back from the NCAA tournament to see who they're going to play in the uh, bracket system. So that'll be announced tomorrow. Same thing with field hockey; they won. It was oh, great. Nice. Their seventh. Happy. They won. <laughs> no. Yeah, they won. They won. This is actually their seventeenth uh, CAC championship victory. Oh, wow. wow. So field hockey's always been pretty good, but they won one nothing in like two overtime. So it was a pretty, hey. pretty defensive game. But they controlled the game from Sounds start like to finish. Sounds like it. They went into overtime and just two overtimes. Oh my gosh. Two overtimes. Wow. That's uh, crazy. But yeah, they they're waiting for the same thing the men are waiting for to see who they're going to play in the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, volleyball lost. Oh, I love volleyball too. I do. Yeah, it's, it's a good. It's fun sport. to watch. Yes. Uh, they lost three to nothing in mm -hmm. their sets against Christopher Newport, mm -hmm. but they're waiting to hear back from. Basically, almost everybody except for football is waiting to hear back if who they're going to play in the NCAA tournament. So everybody's waiting. That's going to come out tomorrow. So hopefully everybody gets good seeding and, right, and stuff right. like that. And women's soccer, they advanced in the CAC semifinals. So. 
uh, they beat Frostburg one to one. So when can we look for the NCAA? Like when do we know about that? Like when um, everybody's playing. The brackets and will. We are. The brackets will come out tomorrow. Who Salisbury will play. Mm -hmm. uh, as for scheduling, that may come out. Probably if it doesn't come out tomorrow, it may come out Tuesday. But sometimes they'll just put all the scheduling together. So they'll we'll know dates and times and when we can you know come out and whether they play at home or whether they play away either way you know come out and support because almost everybody it looks like is going to be in the uh ncaa so we'll definitely have to be looking out for that right then. yeah that's great all right thank you Naya. Cool. yes welcome. thank you next up we have sarah wood on set with some political news from our understanding you went to go get coffee with our council yeah Tell us a little about it. Yeah, Coffee with Your Council um, was the first of the four events that they're going to be doing. This one was the first that was kind of in university setting. So um, what it was, was all of the co or council members were basically there to do coffee. Um, they said the main drive for doing coffee was so that uh, people would stay awake the whole time because <laughs> it's, um, it's a, a lot of issues going on in Salisbury. So what they do is locals come and they talk about what they feel needs to be improved in Salisbury, what they feel we're striving in, or I mean, we're doing great in. Um, so yeah, it's, it's great. Um, not many people under 40 there. So um, Salisbury University, we need to represent and get some more people out to those types of meetings. So uh, yeah. Right, so tell us a little bit about what you talked about. Like, was there a prominent issue that came up? Yeah, um, actually one of the most prominent issues was um, college underage drinking. Mm. So it's always a big one. Yeah, so um, so things that were talked about was um, was college drinking and how uh, certain members, um, older community members, have people like banging on their doors, and it's frustrating because they'll call the police, and stuff is either like done about it or um, or it just happens again. So. That's frustrating for them. And then another issue that was talked about was how um, Salisbury has some really nice areas and then some really kind of down, down we all areas. That's so, an issue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, people were talking about how in their community they feel like some of these eyesores need to be cleared up, and um, and you know it's understandable. So, right. so yeah. So Jake Day was there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, what did he have to bring forth to the table? Well, um, it's actually cool because the forum is set up so that a lot of um, locals get to bring up the issues and then the council members address them. So Jake Day, um, nice. they all addressed, I mean, and you had some people who were, you know, upset with college underage drinking and then some of the council members were actually understanding and they, because um, Safe Ride was brought up and people um, kind of touched on the fact that they felt like it was a taxi for people to just go to parties. So then they were they brought up the issue of, well, if they're not getting there safely, then how are they going to get back safely? Because then a car is going to be taken. And exactly. Of course, there's always like designated drivers, but this is just um, a reinforcement. So right. that was good Safe to talk about. Safe a very important thing that we have, I think. Yeah, and it's yeah. cool. So yeah. they and they defended that, which was which was great. great. And um, they did talk about the fact that not all college students are. Um, are the ones that are not being good neighbors and respecting the elderly people, even if they are going to parties. So, so were you there just observing, or did you have some issues you wanted to bring up yourself? Well, I kind of I um, thought about like the whole part of college underage drinking, but I didn't I didn't bring up any issues. Um, however, I did. <laughs> it was a little awkward being the only um, college student there, as you know. You were the only one. Yeah, I was the only college no student. So, okay, are you a part of SGA? Um, no, I'm You're not, just, so. okay, so. I definitely think an SGA member should be there. That's yeah. what I mean. So how did you end up here? Like, is this for a class or you're just interested? Yeah, I'm really interested in, um, I'm, well, I'm really interested in national politics. So it, but I think so that you were there. a stepping stone is really getting involved in local yes. politics. So, but I did get to do a quick interview with Laura Mitchell, who is the vice president of um, the city council, and then Jake Day, who is the city council president. Um, so that's cool because both of them got to talk about uh, what they feel like needs to be improved in Salisbury and what we can mm -hmm. do as students to uh, help improve our city. So it's wow. great. Um, there's a lot yeah. that we could do, but that's crazy that yeah. you're not you're not even a part of the SGA, and you were there because you're interested. I mean, it's yeah. awesome that we have students here that are about it. 
Yeah, definitely. But, you know, if you're interested, definitely try to come out um, and reach out to your city council members because they're all very nice people and um, and they want you to be involved. So That's okay. how you make a yeah. difference. So do us a favor. Look at the camera and say what it is, when it, when it is, and how students can contact them. Okay. Well, if you're interested in getting involved in uh, uh, local politics in the city council, then you can actually go to their website. Um, so you can do that. Or you can um, even shoot them an email, which their emails are on the website. So if you just go to Google, I can't remember the website name off the top of my head. Right. If you go to Google and you just type in City Council of Salisbury um, Government, then it should come up. And, uh, and you can reach out to any of them. They're all very friendly, and I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. So, wow. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, thanks Appreciate for having it. me. No problem. Yeah. Uh, coming up, we have more on entertainment right after this break. Stay tuned. Tell him that I've begun to dream of things, of things to come, and tell the trees not to look for me. I'm going to find some peace of mind. Wake the sun. The sun, wake the sun, wake the sun. Welcome back to Wake Up SU. We have Miranda Haney with us to give us the latest update in entertainment. Thank you for joining us, Maria. Now, what do you have today? Well, this week I want to talk to you a little bit about the local entertainment scene and how students can get involved just by going to, say, like a local coffee house instead of like Starbucks. So, right. um, so basically, I wanted to talk to you guys about what you do around Salisbury and how it's better than, say, like going to a big business and. Right stuff like that. So I'm really, I'm really excited about this topic. I'm doing a lot of research for the SUTV news right. as well as um, one of my classes. So um, basically students I think don't understand that it's not that far of a walk to get to Main Street. Like the other day I walked, you walk right down Camden and you're there and it's mm -hmm. like if you do it in the day it's not dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's right. a beautiful walk. It's nice weather right now like in the fall. So. Places to eat. I mean exactly. you can do it downtown Salisbury. Especially if you have at. a bike. Yes. Have oh absolutely. Yes. Yeah they have um, SBY just incorporated their new bike route, the orange mm -hmm. route, yeah. to mm -hmm. Main Street. And some um, local businesses actually give discounts if you ride a bike there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I know like Main Roots Coffee that that place they have like a little sticker in the window and then they'll give you discounts. I love Main Roots coffee. Me too. Their it's frozen great. mocha is what I live for. And you know what the best thing about that is that they're local and you have the opportunity to know the people who are making your coffee mm -hmm. and understand how they made their business and help them and know that you're helping them instead of like someone you might not it know. It makes your coffee that much more delicious. It's nice. So much yeah. sweeter yeah. <laughs> exactly when you know who's making it. Exactly, and it's it. Not only does it help the local economy, but mm -hmm. it's so environmentally friendly. And I know that that's a big so deal true. for you. So I wanted right, to know like right. your input. Well, I know uh, from my understanding, they actually reuse their coffee grounds. Oh, really? Uh, for compost, yeah. So that's great for the environment. Mm -hmm. um, rather than going out and buying dirt, especially for composting, coffee yeah. grounds is excellent for composting. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But rise up coffee, like. I love that place to death, mm -hmm. and Delicious it's too. literally a five-minute walk. I would right, say, right? Yeah, it's not. Far it's not at far at all. Mm -hmm. And people are so—they're so scared. I don't know why. I don't know what. Who's <laughs> ever said that? Like, oh, you can't walk to Main Street. Oh. Don't do that. Don't walk on the streets well, with a I state name. I would suggest name. it during. Oh well, not at night, obviously, like, but the middle like, of the night. Yeah. On a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Right, but people think it's like totally not feasible at all. You should but it is. Good. Exactly. And it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful walk. Great, right. right. Um, but Rise Up is local, also. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gravity something gravity. Uh, it's oh, like specific I gravity. Know, the specific pizza gravity? place. It's next to specific gravity. Um, Viva. Oh, Viva, Viva Espresso. Yeah. Yes. And they take gold cards too. They take yeah. gold card money. Yeah. So 
I've been wanting okay. to go there. It looks yeah, delicious. That's actually closer. Right. That's right. Right. Uh, it's right down where I live. It would probably be yeah. like a three minute walk. Yeah. I and I guarantee you, if you go to one of these places, you'll get more for your buck than mm -hmm. Starbucks. Absolutely. Very true. Just the truth. Very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like, so there's some coffee shops, obviously. Right? Mm -hmm. What other shops do we Well, have? obviously, maybe students aren't aware, but they're definitely helping local economy when they go to brew. That's like, <laughs> that's completely locally owned. Like We wouldn't know yeah. anything about that. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing about it. Because we're not 21. Oh. And we abide by the law. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, but there's for also, those who are over 21, yeah, it does yeah, help the economy. Absolutely, exactly. it does. <laughs> and also, there's we have our local brewery here. Yes. Right. Which Wait, is, we have a local brewery in Salisbury? Because I know about the one in... Um, Ocean City. No, it's not Ocean City. It's Berlin. Right. Is that Berlioz. Evolution? Is that oh Evolution? That's yeah, right. that's, I forgot about that. And it's um that has a really great atmosphere. I went there yeah. on Parents Weekend. I actually just got lunch there the yeah, other day. Yeah, isn't it nice? Great food too. Great food. And, and yeah. if you're not it, exactly, if you're not 21, go there with your family. Go there with your friends. Uh -huh. Great food. Thursday night five dollar exactly. burgers. Where it, can you get a five dollar cheeseburger? Thursday night five dollar burgers. Remember that. Great. Yes, good it's, stuff. Wow. Yep. All right, so we have that food what else? and coffee, and also, of course, there's the park in downtown Salisbury, which is beautiful, and Third Fridays, which oh. is a relatively new establishment. I love Third Friday. Yeah, you know, we actually okay as smalls of a town that Salisbury is, we have a lot going on. We like, do. Yeah. Third Friday is so much fun. Like all the art, all the music. Just everything. I mean, there's a lot to do in Salisbury that I think when you're living in the university, sometimes you don't always look outside to see what's going on, but mm -hmm. I mean, I was guilty of that. I didn't Same. think Third that there was Friday much going is on, but a blast. Yeah, Salisbury is exactly. fun. They have belly dancers. Yes. They everything. have, what are those, caricature? Caricature. 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 It's all right. Caricature. Yes. <laughs> they have those artists. Yeah. They have. Um, That's fun. They have different tables of mm -hmm. like local businesses and communities that you can check out, and they have discounts, which yep. we as college students thrive on. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a great time. Absolutely. Good and the atmosphere, think, too. The atmosphere of all these local businesses is just so comfortable. It is. And I think all that people need to do now is just give it a chance and exactly. go out and try it. Mm -hmm. And even like clothing stores, like we have Goodwill right down the road yeah. and we have Wear It Again right down. Wear um, It Again, what's that? Oh, it's so cute. It's um, re uh, secondhand used clothes, basically. Is it like, like Uptown Cheap? Um, kind of, yeah. It's really cute stuff. Um, it's on College Ave. West College, East College Ave, West College Ave, really? one of those. I've never no. even seen this. I'm, yeah, I've yeah. never heard of it's, that before. Um, it's by Royal Farms. Really? Okay. Yeah. It's kind of hidden. It's tucked tucked behind a bush or a tree or really? something. I don't know. Okay. You, you probably wouldn't notice it from the street. Oh. But I, I certainly it's haven't. <laughs> it's really cute. And go check it out. Okay, I will. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Family-owned business, really cute. That's great, yeah. Mm -hmm. But is there any other places that we need to know about? Not particularly. <laughs> I mean, you just, yeah. Just thought I'd ask. Yeah, covered all <laughs> there, the bases. There's always yeah. those secret hidden places. That right? I've about. never heard of this place. Never. Yeah, I mean, there's so much discovering right. to do. Right. I'm only a freshman, so I have yeah. tons of, so tons that's of exploring. There's right. so much that Salisbury has to offer. You just yeah. gotta go look. Hidden gems. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for bringing that to the table. Absolutely. Um, stick around, because right now I'm about to introduce another story for you guys. Um, technology has always been a prominent part of today's culture, but just how powerful can it be? Recently, Skype released a new campaign called Staying Together, in which they feature stories of relationships staying together over Skype. One, one story in particular has produced a lot of buzz over the internet, lady. And um, it's about these two girls, Sarah and Paige. Um, Sarah Stump from Indiana and Paige Taylor from New Zealand. And um, what's special about them is they both were born without one of their arms. Hmm. So they have a stump for one arm and then their other arm, right? And um, so when Sarah was actually born, her mom, um, wanted to find somebody with like a similar situation that um, Sarah could 
get to know and grow up and like ask questions about how they overcome daily challenges of not having one of their arms. Mm -hmm. um, so Sarah's mom in 1998, um, she found Paige's mom over the internet and they've been in contact. Um, they were asking questions about oh, well, I have a daughter without an arm. Like, what are, th what are their challenges? Like, what are you going through sharing stories? Um, and they lost touch over a little bit. And then the daughters, Sarah and Paige, they reconnected with each other over Skype and became wow. best friends. And they've been best friends for eight years. Oh my gosh. And they never met until just this year which is crazy. That's incredible. Yeah, so they've been best friends, they're practically sisters, and they talk about um, like how, how to simply like hold a hairbrush for mm -hmm. them and brush their hair and paint their nails, and they're basically friends for life. And yeah. I just wanted to talk with you guys today, what do you think the power of technology has today in creating relationships? I mean, we get a lot of negative feeds saying, mm. um, oh, it's terrible, technology is awful, it ruins like personal relationships. But in this case, it created a personal mm -hmm. relationship. And that's such a great point that you bring up because right. like technology, I mean, this is something that our generation more so than any other generation has to deal with. Right. Because how many times can you say like, I know this person online, but we've never really gotten to know each other outside of that. I mean, how many other generations can say that? Not many. Right. It's, it's a weird time that we live in, and I think that there's a lot of positives that can come from that kind of communication, and this is just one of those stories that just supports that. And it's so heartwarming. They have mm -hmm. the video on Skype's homepage. You can go check it out and see it. And it's all over YouTube. And like, it made me cry. Really? Would it, would it make you cry? Really? Oh, absolutely. If you saw it, like them coming yeah. together, meeting for the first time in it's eight powerful. years. I don't know if I would cry, but it is powerful. Like, you're, you're I just a tough I, I'm heart. tough. I'm tough like that. <laughs> but yeah. it, it is. It's incredible. Like, the kind of relationships that certain people can make. Right. All because of technology. Exactly. Something that we have like every day. Exactly. We don't think about. Right. Mm -hmm. Certain people take it for granted, certain people don't care about it, and then other people just use it, you know? But right. For certain people. Well, it's, it's a really touching story. Mm -hmm. Go check it out on Skype's webpage and YouTube. Um, I guarantee you it'll make your day. Next up, Jesse and I will be battling it out in a classic minute to win it game. Stay tuned. I got Nicole's so losing. Sorry, he's in beef. Shocking to visit Rhode all the time. Just had a few drinks. This can't be happening. Are we clear? Clear. We just buzzed. Just buzzed? You didn't tell us that, sir. You're right, this isn't happening. You'll be fine. Yeah, I feel good. Really? No, not really. Buzz driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Welcome back to Wake Up SU and just in time for a lighthearted game of Minute to Win It. Here with us now we have Alex Warrenberg who is going to explain the games and the rules. So what's this game? Tell us about it. All right, ladies, how are you doing today? Good. Fantastic. All right, today I'm ready to win. Oh, oh, a little smack talk. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, hold it, hold it. Let's okay. save that for the game, all right? Okay. Today's game is called Apples to Apples. You both will be taking these apples from this end of the table into the target zone on the other end of the table. However, you are not allowed to use your hands or your eyes. You will be blindfolded, your hands will be behind your back, and you have to pick up the apples with your mouths. No nudging them. You actually have to pick them you up off of the table. That. You got a big mouth. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we, hold okay. them back. Hold them back. All right, ladies, please put on your blindfolds. On I hope you're ready, Jesse. Because I have a big mouth. I've been you're told. You're going like. Here I've we been go. told you're going that I have down, a big mouth. down like Donkey Kong and his mom in Wait. bed. Wait. Okay. That, I wasn't sure what she said. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> All right, check to make sure she's not cheating. Okay? Can you oh, see? Oh, check that girl. How many I, fingers? I can't see. One, three. Five. All right, fine. Just for t just pretend like you can't see. Perfect. Wait, put me in front of the oh, table so I know where I am. Well, you're already at a disadvantage because you're at this. You want to be at the side of the table here. Oh, we have basically to basically where side. you Wait, basically where you were my standing. My blindfold's coming off. It does this help. This is so nerve-wracking. <laughs> Wait, I want to. I'm having some issues. 
some technical issues I with my blame phone. Need help. Yeah, can you tie it for me? Jesse, it looks like you lost already. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. See all that smack talk. talk to me after all I that win. smack talk you just did. That's what happened. Here okay, we go. Yeah. All right, are we okay. ready to go? I'm ready. How many fingers? One. Is that just what you're going to guess every time? Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> are you ladies ready? I was born ready. 60 seconds on the clock. On your marks. Yes. Get set. Go. Lauren is having a difficult time finding her first <laughs> apple. Jesse has dropped her apple. It's I'm Lindsay, so, it's first of all. Oh, there, Lindsay, I no, apologize. I Lindsay. Dropped my apple. Oh, and I'm eating Jesse's now. apple has fallen off of the table. Uh. Lindsay already has two apples. <laughs> well, one apple. One, one apple's kind oh. of on the line there. She might want to go ahead and fix that. Jesse's got her first apple in the uh. target zone. Lindsay's got two in the target zone and, and a half. <laughs> and Jesse's got her second apple in the table and what the fourth that? table. Time. Keep going, keep going. And oh. stop. No. Who won? Did somebody sabotage me? And the winner is... I Yay! win! <laughs> Jesse lost. It's, it's Lindsay, not Lauren. I got it. It shows that if you yeah, have a big you mouth, you no, will be the I winner think that was of this good. game. I apologize. Hey. These apples are donated <laughs> from Commons. <laughs> we borrowed them. Wait, are we still wrong? I have hair in my mouth. Oh, gross. Well, well, thank you for yeah. joining us, Alex. I did my best. Coming up next, we have more ways for SU students to get involved right after this break. Don't go away. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. It could be one very expensive ride. First, you got to make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to Wake Up SU. Are you looking to log some extra volunteer hours or even just lending a hand? If so, here are a few ideas. This semester, sign up with Habitat for Humanity. They'll be helping Wicomico community build a house in the neighborhood. Help out with painting, building ramps, railings, constructing windows, and more. Visit the Students' Activity Office for more information. Feeling stressed? Need some puppy loving? Then visit the Humane Society of Wicomico County and volunteer to walk a dog. If dogs aren't your things, no worries. Cuddle with kittens. They're always looking for volunteers to help out weekly in playing with the animals. Visit their website at www.wacomicohumane.org. Honestly, what a better way to procrastinate from all of that homework. With over half of the semester complete, here are a few things SU students can look forward to. Are you looking for off-campus off housing next semester or even next year? This week, SGA hosts a housing fair to provide students with an opportunity to meet with a number of property owners in one place. Off-campus housing services will be there to answer any questions and provide resources regarding off-campus living. Incoming students looking for housing for the spring and fall 2014 are encouraged to attend. The housing fair will take place on Thursday, November 14th and Saturday, November 16th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in GUC Wacomico Room. Also coming up is the Intramural Department's 31st Annual Turkey Chalk. Run, fun run walk on Thursday, November 21st, beginning at 4 p.m. The first 300 participants to finish will receive a Turkey Trot t-shirt. Registration is now open. Pick up entry forms at the Campus Recreation Office in the lobby of MAGS. Every participant is required to bring a new unwrapped toy or make a $5 donation to Toys for Tots. The entry deadline is 3.45 p.m. on Thursday, November 21st. And for those of you who are desperately in need of a break from school, don't worry. Thanksgiving break is coming up beginning November 27th till December 1st. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> and for those of you who are looking for something to do this week, here is what's coming up in Soap's Activities. 
Coming up in student activities, Monday the 11th is Battle of the Sexes, and it's going to be held in Nanakoke Room at 7 p.m. Tuesday the 12th, Rave to Save in Wicomico Room from 8 to 11 p.m. Wednesday the 13th is going to be Elysium, DH123, Devil Biss Hall, at 9 p.m. Uh, Friday the 15th, Elysium again, Devil Biss Hall, 123, 9 p.m. And Sunday, Elysium is going to be held again in Devil Biss Hall, 123, at 1 p.m. Well, that's it for today's show. To close this out, here is Miranda Haney singing one of her originals.